All right, y'all, I'll try to squeeze it in right quick. So, uh, Anthony Joshua went out and lost to Alexander Usyk and relinquished his IBF, WBA, and WBO titles on Saturday. Um, somehow, the result of that happening dropped Deontay Wilder's stock as a top-level heavyweight, according to Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn now has Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk, Dillian White, and Anthony Joshua as the top four heavyweights. No coincidence that two of those guys are in his state in his matchroom stable. Now, if you look at who Deontay Wilder lost to, he lost to a guy that Eddie Hearn himself considered to be the number one heavyweight in the world. He also has a draw with the same guy. Those are only two blemishes on his record. In the draw, he dropped the guy in the 12th round, had him unconscious, and the guy got up and beat the count. A miraculous um, tale of surviving. Um, but at the end of the day, the result is the result, and it's a draw. Now, if you go look at Dillian White, Dillian White went out there two fights ago and got completely knocked out by Alexander Usyk, who is now retired and hadn't looked his best in years, had already been knocked out by Joshua. Dillian White himself was knocked out by Joshua. Um, has, Dillian has a bunch of fights against guys that he truly didn't get separation against that he was that were brought in for him to look good against. Anthony Joshua has the loss to Andy Ruiz, who is on nobody's top four pound for pound, or excuse me, nobody's top four heavyweight list. Um, and he was a huge underdog. He he stopped Anthony Joshua, and then Anthony Joshua just got dominated by Alexander Usyk in a fight in which was not very competitive overall. With Joshua winning at best four rounds, I had him winning three. And two of those rounds were consecutive rounds. Maybe even the third was, I can't remember. But for, for large parts of that fight, he got backed up by the smaller man. He looked lost and unsure of what to do next, how to get back in the fight. And he, he just seemed outclassed in there at times. Um, but overall, it was a good fight. And, and I will say it was a much competitive, much more competitive fight than the Wilder Fury um, second fight. But there again, Wilder was fighting the number one heavyweight or number two heavyweight at the time, depending on how you had him ranked. But ultimately, he's the number one heavyweight in the world right now. Um, so I, I'm not sure how anyone can feel that these guys that at, at uh Eddie Hearn is mentioning. And I'll and I'll just I'll just stick with the two. I'll just stick with I'm not even gonna talk about Usyk. I'll just stick with the two matchroom guys. I'm not sure how Eddie Hearn or anyone can put Dillian White on Anthony Joshua over Deontay Wilder right now. And I'm not even sure how in the hell Eddie Hearn can put Dillian White over um Anthony Joshua to be honest. And I think that's how he has it ranked. I think he has Joshua number four. I know Dillian White isn't coming off a loss, but Dillian White is only one fight removed from a horrible loss. And then the guy basically didn't show up for the rematch. I mean, he I, I, never mind. I don't want to get into all that. Either way it goes, that's that's how Eddie Hearn has it. Um, it reeks of a lack of validity. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a horrible. It, to me, it's a horrible attack on Deontay Wilder, uh, a fighter that, you know what I'm saying, you had an opportunity to put your guy in with, but you always found a way to skate around that fight. So now he's in a position where he gets his third fight with Deon with um, Tyson Fury, and ahead of the fight, you're trying to crap over the guy. And um, it's, it's just classes, classic Eddie Hearn type stuff. But, you know, the reality is, he also mentioned 
Deontay Wilder hasn't fought anybody, really hadn't fought any good fighters, where him and Anthony Joshua fought some of the same guys. Deontay Wilder has fought Tyson Fury twice. Deontay Wilder also has beat some of the guys that knocked out some of the same guys that Anthony Joshua was knocked out or beat. So um, it's kind of hard to, to just dismiss what Deontay Wilder's done. Um, Deontay Wilder reigned as heavyweight champion for like five years with 10 successful defenses. Can't discount that. But at the same time, if he's mentioning Luis Ortiz, Luis Ortiz is the same guy that Anthony Joshua would have had to fight for that WBA title, that vacant WBA title that he fought Vladimir Klitschko for coming off a long layoff instead of Luis Ortiz. And then Luis Ortiz never got his shot that he was promised um, against the winner of that fight. So Deontay Wilder beating Luis Ortiz two times is impressive to me when no other top-level heavyweight has gotten in the ring with Luis Ortiz. No other heavyweight has beaten Luis Ortiz. If Luis Ortiz isn't that good, somebody other than Deontay Wilder needs to show me that. Needs to show the boxing world that. And, and that's even with the guy being at the advanced age of, I think he's 42 years old now. And, and guys still are fighting around him. You know, Dillian White had no problem fighting 40-year-old guys like Lucas Brown, Marius Walk, um, Alexander Povetkin. But for some reason, Luis Ortiz could never get that call. He could get the call out, but when it came time to, to put the uh, rubber to the road, Dillian White always had a thousand excuses. So it's hard for me to, to, to look at these guys and, and, and take them serious or take any statement serious. At the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, the two guys in the top of the heavyweight division are the two guys fighting on October night. Now, the loser of that fight is going to fall behind Alexander Usyk, in my opinion, regardless of who they are. Now, depending on who loses the fight and how they lose it, they may drop completely out of the top four, top five. It just depends. But right now, I definitely have Deontay Wilder ahead of Anthony Joshua, ahead of Dillian White, and I got him ahead of Alexander Usyk because the body of work at heavyweight surpasses a win over Chaz Willispoon, a win over Derek Chisora, and even a win over Anthony Joshua. That's all I got on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out, people.